Hello Zaniacs, I am Lainey. I am Marshall. And our book review today is Siri, Who Am I? by Sam Sheeta. <laughs> Uh, that title gives me the giggles. <laughs> That's why I wanted to request this book. I did get it for review, so I was like, yeah, this is a funny title. I need to see what this is all about. Um, but as you're going to see from the cover here, the, yeah, it's also a funny cover. <laughs> so, uh, Siri, Where Am I? is the story of a woman who loses her memory, literally loses her mind, after she is part of a some kind of like social event um she i can't remember exactly like if she's in social media or oh no no, no i remember what it is now she um she made an app and the app basically sets up uh young beautiful women with rich sugar daddies as like a social media Oh. Like influencing kind of thing. So like the rich people will pay like, you know, fifteen thousand dollars to her to get a very pretty arm candy for yeah. social media pictures and uh, appearances. And in one or two instances, I think they did get married. I can't really remember, but it wasn't important to the plot. So as big as her life is on social media and her developing this app, uh, she can't remember anything because something apparently happened at the special event that she was at. She wakes up in the hospital and she has to start piecing her life back together from what is going on on her phone because that's all she has. She apparently doesn't have her purse, her ID, nothing, just her phone. So she uh, has to look, she looks on her Instagram. Uh, she has tried to look for her house but she can't find her house. She found her boyfriend's house because she happened to take a picture in front of it. Pieces that together, wears the same yellow dress for like three days because she has no clothes at her boyfriend's house apparently. And she has no money so she can't go buy no clothes. So as she's doing this, there's a guy who's house sitting for her boyfriend while he's in like Sweden or something. And he's in charge, he makes chocolate, His boy her boyfriend. It's kind of a, a weird like other storyline, but he is one of the rich sugar daddies that she, uh -huh. would set people up with so she's with him right sugar daddy makes chocolate makes chocolate too right so uh the guy who's house sitting her house is some kind of like neuroscientist which was you know strangely coincidental and uh helps her try to piece her life back together uh the uh, the, the it was a, definitely a trip <laughs> i can tell you it was fun it was uh for me very like well are they gonna figure everything out and yeah they do but but part of the time I was like where's your dang house <laughs> like a lot of the time I was like she wasn't really like employing anyway I'll get I'll get to my review in a second what do you think so the the, the title may be Siri who am I but I think the subtitle is dude where's my house yeah it um, is <laughs> it's it's interesting, like, those, those kinds of movies that deal with amnesia directly, um, where they are, the actual plot of the movie is trying to figure out who you are and why you are here. It's an interesting plot line, especially if it's well put together. Um, I was, do you feel like it was well put together? Uh, at points, it was well put together. In some other points, though, again, like I was saying, like, where's your house? There were a lot of things that she, like, decided to dedicate her time to that I felt was just really like, why? Why are you doing this right now? Shouldn't you be trying to find where you live so that you can get, like, you know, your clothes and other things that are important to you? Like, why are you trying to go figure out, like, who this dude is over here that is texting you and if he's a good guy. No, just and go find your house. I have one other question. Most of the time with these phones, especially with our navigation apps, you already have a set place where you say, this is my home. Right, yeah, so there was that like gap, I think, in there. Like, I don't understand why she couldn't find some of this information on her phone if it yeah. like i don't know about you but all of my personal information is in my phone so i don't know why she couldn't find that but that's the story i think her not being able to find her house did lead to some really interesting things that happened so i understand why it was used i just was like why where's the house oh. 
There's no house. That was my biggest sticking point. I think there were a couple other w things where I was like, yeah, it's, it's like a little plot hole. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but I gave it three stars anyway. I thought it was a fun time. Like, if you just don't, if you want a little bit of silliness and a little bit of like suspension from reality just a tad, I would say this book is probably a good one to read. Yeah, um, I will leave all the information down below for you. But until next time, bye-bye.